Hey ladies, so today I'm going to take you through a glute workout that I've been working on. What I've noticed with the majority of my clients is that a lot of them that are not seeming to be able to develop their glutes is because they don't know how to fire the glutes. And once you know how to fire your glutes, every single little thing that you do, you'll be able to do it easily and you'll feel like you have a glute workout. For me, I can literally bend down like this. And I can feel my glutes. I can bend over like this. I can do one foot. I can do a little, and I can engage the glutes and the hip flexors. So I want to start off with three movements that I do to fire the glutes off when clients are consistently having problems connecting to your glutes. And then once the glutes are fired up, we'll go into the rest of the exercise. Don't mind Mr. Caden in the background, Caden Wave. Don't be yelling and screaming. He's got his headphones on. And we'll go ahead and get started here. So the first exercise is our classic four bridge. The thing about the four bridge is that people think that they're doing this exercise right, and they are so not. Most people are glute dominant up here where their back is, is indented, their glutes are high, which makes you stronger through your hips and your legs, so those are what you fire off of. In order to correct that, you need to position your back down. Force your back down to the ground so we're not doing this. If you're doing this, you're losing the exercise. Force your back down to the ground, push through, even if you lift your head up for a second, and then you push through your heels and up into the air, okay? You may have to reset yourself every single time where you push your back down and push through. This gets the glutes to fire off immediately. Because I don't have that issue and my back immediately goes down, I feel it instantly and I feel it hard. So force up, do about 20 reps of this, push through your heels, push your pelvic up every single time, squeeze your glutes at the top so you immediately should fire your glutes off, okay? 20 times, ladies. Don't stop until you get to 20 times. We're going to do almost every exercise for a total of 20 reps, 4 rounds. Push through. Make sure you continue squeezing at the very top. You should feel the burn. exercise is called a single leg toe touch. You're simply lifting this leg up, bending down, touching your toes. Notice my back never curved. If you find yourself doing this, you're doing it wrong. Get your core engaged. Let me turn this way so you can see me. Abs in, butt out, shoulders back. Touch your toes. That glute is immediately fired off. Touch your toes. Forces you to into the squat. Back up, abs in. You feel it right there. Back up, okay? Each leg 20 times. And start feeling your legs get tired. As you start feeling your legs get tired, you know your glutes are firing off. And it's flexing this other leg over here. Back up, okay? Now we're gonna switch sides. We switch sides, this leg goes up, and it's 20 times. 20, 19, shoulders stay rolled back, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, there it goes, 13, oh, getting wobbly, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, come on, seven, don't get tired of me now, six, five, four, three, going down, almost made it, two, and one. So if you really want to get these squats right, mm -hmm. you have to make sure that you properly know how to, again, 
fire off these glutes. You gotta keep them fired off. The way that you know that you're properly doing it, a lot of y'all one-on-one -on -one clients have had me make you do this with the bar and without. Sit straight down. You start here. Make sure that your glutes are sitting straight, your back is up straight, your heels are forcing off the ground. Stand up straight. The form stays the same. Squeeze your glutes in. Okay? I often say, sit on the edge of a bathtub. This chair is a little high for me. I like to go a little bit lower. Make sure that each and every single time you're standing up, you're sitting down, your back is straight, your hips are fired off. Make sure you get 10 more of these. Don't stop till you get 10. Nine, come on. Eight. Seven, squeeze. Stand straight up, don't get tired. Six, we're right there. Five. Four. Three. Two. Don't rush it. Slow down. One. To make this a little bit more difficult, now, one leg at a time. This may take your abs a little bit, especially if you started this last. You're a little bit more tired. You're going to start off sitting down. Still got to have your back straight. Okay? Make your shoulders stand up straight. Don't do this. And don't sit way back here to the momentum that's driving you up. You need to be on the edge of the chair. Stand up. One. Sit down. Force that glute to rise you up off of the chair. Force your glute to do the work every single time. Not the momentum. Not this. Not this. Use your glute. Make yourself. So on the single leg chair squat, make sure that you do the other leg, okay? Keep them engaged. You should get 10 one leg, 10 the other. And we're going to go right into the um, hip flexor extension, okay? I got one of these plastic bands, and I got a big band, okay? On the hip flexor, this band goes around your feet, up at the top. Your legs are about here. You want to make sure the pelvic, the hips are all aligned. Put your hands behind your back if you want to. And all you're doing is this. Control it every single time. Three, four, outstretch. Don't cheat the rep. Do not cheat the rep. Don't be trying to do this. I don't know what this is. Mountain climbers is not what I'm talking about. Force it out. Make your glute do the work. You feel it when it's right. If you don't feel it, you're cheating your reps and you're not doing it right. And this is a waste of exercise, and you might as well be over there with Caden playing video games. Okay, don't cheat your reps. Five more. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Okay, here comes one of my favorite. This is the clamp. Okay. You always hear me say, if you can't lift yourself up, you need to follow your meal plan. Make sure you're up off the ground. Your hip needs to make sure that it's perpendicular to the ground. It means everything is even. If you're kicking back here, you're rocking, you're wrong. Okay? Everything is here. Clam up. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16, 15, burning, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, perpendicular, don't start leaning back, 4, 3, 2, and 1, rest it, if you did it right, that sucker's on fire right now. Whew. Next one is a donkey kick to a fire hydrant. 
Okay, so you're kicking up, lifting up. Kicking up, you're lifting up. Kick that leg up, lift that leg up. Fire off your glutes. I say it all the time. I'm gonna keep saying it. It's 20 per leg, okay? 20 per leg. Or should I say 20 per ass, cheek. Time to grow some butt cheeks. We ain't got nothing else to do. Run around and chase children. Make sure they don't get in trouble. Help them with their homework and their schoolwork. Make three meals a day. Whew. Next one, called a hip drive. Sit on your heels, drive your hips. Sit on your heels, drive your hips. Go as hard as you can. This has to be at a half speed, okay? This don't do nothing, okay? We're here. Sit all the way down your heels. Drive through your hips. Sit down there, put your thumbs there so that you know you're engaging. Squeeze this, pelvic thrust. Here to here, okay? Here to here, 12 more. Good, 11, push, come on, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, come on, five, four, mm-hmm, three, two, and one. And the last one of the glute work today is a lunge kickback. Lunge kickback. Lunge kickback. Lunge kickback. Lunge. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, ladies. So as you can see, this is a great workout for firing your Glutes, getting your glutes as activated as quickly as possible. If you can't do the whole workout, start off with the first three, which were the um, four bridge, the hip bridge where I laid down, which was the toe touch with a single leg and the chair squat. Those will get you going until you can do the rest. Everyone who has ever been faithfully involved in my boot camp should be able to do this whole thing. If you struggle with 20 reps, put it on the timer and go to the timer. You should have this glute exercise workout right here, like literally um, memory in your head by the time we get back, okay? You should be doing this at least once a week. This is a firing off on the glutes, especially without weight, okay? So hope this helps. Enjoy your day. Stay quarantine lean. Strong mind, strong body, strong mind, strong booty. <laughs>